Well, happening right now, Baton Rouge General kicked off its annual Protect Your Pumpkins campaign this morning. Our Sydney Simone has been live at BRG's pumpkin patch all morning long in Sydney. Those pumpkins aren't the usual color. No, they aren't. Reggie, I am surrounded by thousands of pink pumpkins right here at BRG, Baton Rouge General, right at Blue Bonnet, right across from all of Louisiana. This is their pink pumpkin patch. It's here every year to talk about the awareness of breast cancer and mammograms for women. This is their Protect Your Pumpkins campaign. Again, they do emphasize the importance of early detection for women. As they say, the numbers for women under 50 have increased over the last two decades, and breast cancer is one of the more commonly diagnosed cancers among American women. Now, right now, I am standing here with Dr. Amber Robbins. She's with BRG. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. I'm excited <laughs> about Protect Your Pumpkins. Oh, yes, me too. And it, like I said, we are standing around thousands of pumpkins now. What do women need to know? What are the important uh, signs for people to know when it comes to early detection or just being aware of your body and what's going on with your health? Yeah, so that's actually a harder question than you think because a lot of times we might feel on different parts of our bodies and even do our self breast exams and feel some lumps and bumps. Sometimes it can be breast cancer, sometimes it's not. So going into your doctor's office, your uh, medical provider's office to say, hey, I have this concern, I want to figure out what it is, and that could lead to having a mammogram or having an ultrasound to figure it out. Now, when we talk about mammograms and ultrasounds, a lot of different ways to uh, detect breast cancer, self-breast exams that you can do at home. Talk about the importance of just doing that. Yeah, so at least once a month, trying to do a self-breast exam can be helpful. It helps you understand what's going on with your body. Um, a lot of times a way to do that is actually kind of circling around the area of your breast and being able to kind of feel those things. Another way to do it is when you go to your uh, primary care doctor, having them or your OBGYN, having them teach you how to do a self-breast exam can be helpful because sometimes those things yeah. can be a bit tricky. That's, that's definitely key and I know uh, if you're like myself try to stay off Google sometimes we kind of scare ourselves but talk yeah. about the importance of actually coming in to get checked and not just relying on the research you know it's good to do your own research but also getting a second opinion and getting a medical professional to give you uh, that information and those uh, the tools that you need for yeah. diagnosis. Going in to see your doctor is a part of your self-care. A lot of times as women we try to do all the things, take care of everything, and put ourselves maybe on the back burner. So being able to take that time and say, hey, I want to take care of myself. Can you help me be able to do that and teach me ways to do that? That'll be helpful for us to guide you through um, your self-care journey. And you mentioned something very key, which is asking your physician to show you how to do it, because we talk about doing it. Now, again, this is the Pink Pumpkin Patch. It's happening at three locations across the Capital Region, two-day and one-day pop-up event. This is at Blue Bonnet. You have Mid City, or if you can't make it there, you can go to the Ascension location. It's a first come, first serve thing. So, first pumpkin is free, ten dollars for every extra pumpkin. After that, again, we've seen people come on, uh, come here early this morning, as early as 4:45, and grab their pumpkin. So they're here while supplies last. Make sure you guys come out. Get your pumpkin and also learn about the importance of breast cancer awareness and early detection. Reporting live here right outside of BRG on Blue Bonnet, Sydney Simone, NBC Local 33 News.